Greetings! It's Crushmire again, and in this video I'm going to show you what makes a good SVG file. I'll give you some pointers on things to avoid when creating your vector drawings, and some best practices for augmenting your files in Wireware. Wireware will make a bendable object out of any SVG or DXF file, breaking up your drawing into a series of feeds and bends. The maximum bend angle the DIYer can perform is 135 degrees. If you're breaking this limit, once you've dropped your file into Wireware, it will notify you of the issue by highlighting the line segments around the angle in red. The minimum wire length between bends is 12 millimeters. In Wireware, two points highlighted in red mean they are too close together. Using this selection tool, you could quickly drag these apart until the proximity warning disappears. And remember, giving your file radii at the corners is not necessary as the DIYer's bend head will naturally create a radius at each bend point. When making your files, keep in mind Wireware will convert curved segments into lines and points. This segmentation is almost unnoticeable with large curves, but becomes more apparent the smaller and tighter the curve gets. It's a good habit to consider all of these factors when creating your files. You could perform small fixes in Wireware when necessary, but it's good to be mindful of the machine's limitations when initially drawing your vector files.